Astros, Dodgers. Astros, Dodgers. Go Astros! Astros won the World Series. Did you know that? You know you like them Astros. So today, guys, we're going to talk all about the PTCB exam. Now, you might ask, what is the PTCB exam? Well, PTCB stands for Pharmacy Technician Certification Board. Now, a lot of people usually get this confused with PTCB and PTCE. The PTCE means Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam, okay? So, the people that put on the PTCE are the PTCB, okay? This is the board. This is a board of people that administer this exam that is called the PTCE. Wow. So now let's talk a little bit about the PTCE. First thing first, it's 90 questions long. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I know you're probably wondering 90 questions. How much time do I get to take a 90 question exam? Well, you get two hours. Oh, no, no. So wait, 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 wait. Pump your brakes. Don't panic. That's about one minute and 30 seconds per question. And just to let you in on a little secret, if you have the right training, it'll probably take less time than that. Do you know what this means? Okay, you wanna know, how do I score? Yeah. I got the score. This is how you score. The score ranges between 1,000 and 1600. So what is the passing score you ask? Like how do you really win at the PTCE exam? Well, the passing score is a 1400 or higher. So now the cost to take this exam is $129. Now really think about it. What could you do with $129? Is this a real investment? I mean, when I think about myself and some of my friends, people that I know typically spend $129 on fast food every month. Welcome to Quick and Hot. Can I take your order, please? Yeah, um, can I get a burger with four slices of cheese? And if you live in Houston, Texas, you spend that on fast food in one week. One burger with four slices of cheese. You know I'm telling the truth. And just in case you're wondering if you have to recertify ever so often, the answer to that question is yes. All pharmacy technicians have to recertify every two years, okay? So how do you go about doing this? You go through the board and you also have to get what they call CEs. And we'll talk about that in future times. Or if you're there right now, then head over to pharmacytechlessons.com and you can ask me questions about it there. Now, I know you're probably wondering, are there any requirements to take the exam? Well, of course, yes, okay? So here are the simple requirements. You have to have a high school diploma or a GED and you also cannot have any felonies on your record. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so listen ladies and gents, if you want to know how to apply to take the PTCB exam, then head over to pharmacytechlessons.com where we have a full guide there on how to apply to take it. But for now, let's get more into how you should go about scheduling when you take your PTCB exam. So first things first, if you didn't know, yes, you can pick your PTCB exam date. You can choose the day that you take your test. I think that's really great um, considering that you can go about when you wanna study, choose your date, go in and take your test and pass it. So of course, it's your responsibility to make sure that you choose your date wisely. Make sure you give yourself enough time to study. I hear from hundreds of students every month, hey, I'm about to take my test in two weeks. I don't know what to study. What? You mean to tell me you waited until there were two weeks until you take your test and you still don't know what to study? What? I tell you what, do yourself a favor and head over to pharmacytechlessons.com and we'll tell you exactly what to study. No, seriously guys, when it comes to time, you don't wanna be sitting in rush hour traffic at 4.45 and your exam starts at five o'clock. Chances are you're not getting in 
you're not going to be prepared and you're not going to be relaxed okay so make sure you go about choosing your time wisely and if you want to know more about that then head over to the website and we'll give you the whole rundown on how long you should give yourself to study, how long it truly takes to study all the information so that you can successfully pass the PTCB exam. Now, speaking of rush hour traffic, let's talk about locations. So you have another option. You can choose where you wanna take your PTCB exam at. Now, of course you can't choose to take it at your house, however, I'm pretty sure, especially if you live in the major cities, there are multiple testing locations that you can check on to see where they're actually located in your area. So needless to say, make sure you don't choose an area that's too far away. You want to choose the closest area to your home or wherever you're driving from to take your PTCB exam. Now, let's talk about some common questions that we at Pharmacy Tech Lessons get about the actual exam. What materials can you bring? Or what materials should you bring? You should definitely bring your driver's license. Bring your social security card too, just in case, or a birth certificate for a second form of identification, just in case anything goes wrong, okay? A lot of people usually ask, can I bring a calculator? Mm, no. So they're gonna provide a calculator for you at the testing site. Now, this calculator is very basic, okay? You're not gonna be getting any of these Einstein calculators that you're probably used to using from Texas Instruments. But, nevertheless, they will give you a basic calculator. Now, another question people usually have in their minds is, how do I know if I'm ready? Am I ready to take the PTCB exam? Well, to answer that question, head over to the website, the link is in the description, and take our free ultimate PTCB practice exam. This exam will show you where you are, what you need to study, if you're ready to take the test, or if you're not. And either way, look at it as a good thing. At least you'll find out the truth. At least you'll find out, am I ready to take it? Hmm. Or am I not ready to take it? Either way, you're on the right path to passing the PTCB exam. Another common question that we get is, is the test hard? And I really wanna say this, I truly can sympathize with you. My question to you is, do you have the right information? You know what, Devante, cue, cue the music, I can't. Ask yourself, do you have the right information? Who's teaching you? Listen, let us at Pharmacy Tech Lessons, we wanna help you. Let us coach you and show you the way. You don't have to wonder in your mind, is the test hard? You don't have to wonder in your mind about failing. Just let us coach you. Let us teach you. Let us give you the information that you need so that you know you're on the right path. <laughs> no, seriously guys, head over to PharmacyTechLessons.com where you can get the rest of this content. You can get the full article and the full details that we weren't able to go all the way through here on the video because we didn't want to take up a lot of your time. We know you're busy. We know you got better things to do, okay? So just head over to PharmacyTechLessons.com and get the rest of this full content and you may even get a free guide sent to your email. Who knows? See you later. All right, guys, so let's just be real. Think about it. Astros, Dodgers, who did you really go for in the World Series? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys later.